Here we are at the Mill Pond, just opposite the Granta pub in Cambridge. This is a, a very typical place where you can find magnetotactic bacteria. Uh, to collect them we're going to scrape up the top layer of sediment using a, just a glass pot. And the sort of best place to look is where there's a very fine grained, soft, fluffy sediment. Not too sandy, not too stony, not too much leaf coverage. And typically what we would do to collect these things is go to several locations around here, collect maybe 10 or 15 of these pots, mix them all together in the lab and then extract the bacteria from them. Okay, so there I have a pot full of sediment. This fine kind of fluffy sediment is what you're after. And after that settles down, you'll have about half a pot full of that stuff. And if you combine several of these pots together, you'll have enough to uh, get a good yield of bacteria back in the lab. The individual pots of sediment can be combined into one beaker. The beaker shown was extracted six months ago and kept on a shelf covered in foil to prevent evaporation of water. It is possible to use freshly collected sediment, although this may give a smaller yield of bacteria. To separate the bacteria from the sediment, we will place two small bar magnets on either side of the beaker at a height just above the sediment water interface. Here we use books to provide a platform for the magnets at the appropriate height. Because this sediment was extracted in the northern hemisphere, the majority of bacteria will be north seeking, i.e. they should swim parallel to the earth magnetic field towards geographic north. Since the north pole of the earth is actually a south pole magnetically, this means that bacteria will attract to the south pole of a bar magnet. The south pole can be identified using a compass needle. Here the south pole of this 3D compass is coloured blue and the north pole in red. With the magnets placed as shown, the bacteria will swim from left to right and collect close to the south pole of the bower magnet on the right. The sediment is then stirred to release the bacteria. The sediment is then left to settle for about an hour allowing time for the bacteria to swim towards the magnetic pole. Now that the bacteria have had time to collect, move the magnet slightly away from the beaker. If a high yield of bacteria was collected, then a white spot should be visible on the edge of the beaker. Use silicone grease to form a watertight ring on a glass microscope slide as shown. Use a pipette to extract a drop of water from the vicinity of the white spot. Now place this drop onto the microscope slide as shown. To try and achieve a higher concentration of magnetotactic bacteria, place a magnet with magnetic south facing the silicon grease and leave it for 5 minutes.
After five minutes, prepare most of the excess water from the side of the ring opposite to the magnet. Place a cover slip over the slide, which is now ready for viewing under a light microscope.